Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. And as you see, there's been a little bit of an update. I recently purchased this LED light. This is a Mars 300. I'll put the links down below for exact details. And as you see, look at how high up the light is. And the beautiful radius that I get from my grow space now. As well as I put all my basically my peppers in this area and I, I have a few more peppers that I'm about to transplant into their homes and add to this area right here but for now I actually recently added this five gallon bucket that you see here and I transplanted the cucumber plant in there as well as the squash plant and look at how much better the squash plant looks now it's actually sitting up in its space nice and healthy looking very strong and the base of the plant is actually supported much better i was originally thinking about tying this plant up with the string that i have right here but once i put this in the system it's gone very well and you could actually see down below what the root system looks like right now that's just a little bit of the coco core that fell down below i'll change this out in about uh, two weeks or so maybe every two weeks i'll check the nutrient levels see what the ppm is and what the ph looks like and adjust what needed and you can see the cucumber roots right there in the bottom as well and those are doing very well and i noticed i actually added the, these plants into the system only one day and this this light right here is very heavy in red spectrum as well as has a pretty pretty decent blue spectrum light so it's excellent for flowering plants and just from half a day from when i put it in here yesterday i noticed a bunch of these new flowers on the pepper plant have blossomed so this is going to be i think an excellent excellent grow light for all of my flowering stage plants and that's mainly what i'm going to use this area for and i'm still waiting to get my new greenhouse in it's actually not a greenhouse sorry it's a grow tent actually it's going to be surrounded with mylar and it'll keep the, these this extremely extremely bright LED light you can see right there it'll keep that basically contained because right now this light is so strong it's basically wrapping around this entire room and it's very hard to look at it so I'm also gonna get some special sunglasses that are excellent for horticulture and to use in this type of situation so that's gonna be good I think and this, the nice thing about this area it, it actually became a lot more cooler if you see it's already 79 right now and this light doesn't really generate much heat which is really nice for the plants and for this area right now it's really contained and the plants seem to be really enjoying it and growing very well and just from transplanting this cucumber in here last night, I noticed a big, big difference in growth. And the leaves have actually gotten quite larger. And it's gotten a little bit taller. Same thing for the squash plant. And I noticed that basically that the flowers have started to mature more. You can see the, the female flower right there is starting to mature, as well as the male flower. So I think I'm definitely gonna have some squashes Definitely on the second time around, the first ones didn't work. I didn't have some, any pollination, sorry, any pollen to work with. Male flowers came up way before the female flowers did. So, I mean, you gotta work with what you can. Pepper plant's doing excellent. It actually smells so different in here right now. Just from the few flowers that are there, it actually smells quite nice. And I didn't, I don't think it smelled this nice before when I was just running under the T5s. I don't know if that's just um, like a placebo effect that's in my head and because I'm excited about this lights. But I think it smells really good in here for some reason right now. Much, more, much, much more than it did before. So for now, I'm very happy with the setup. And I just wanted to show you what I got going on right now. And a quick little update. There's going to be a lot, a lot of new growth i'm gonna actually set up a trellis for this cucumber plant so again i'm gonna have a lot of beautiful cucumbers growing and basically a 32 by 32 by 63 growth tent 
and that's to come maybe in about a week so I'll keep you updated and maybe we'll do a little set of setting up together of the growth hand as always don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching